300 have both the check engine light and the track off light? Does it pull up these codes when you go to read it? P1349. My name is Stan and I'm gonna show you how to fix that. On Toyotas, the P1349 error code means there's an error or malfunction in the VVTI system. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna show you guys how to take off the VVTI solenoid and see what the issue is. I've got a new one, uh, it was like 30 bucks, looks to be used off eBay, um, but a brand new part from Toyota is about 160 bucks at the time of this posting. Uh, and then auto parts stores have them for about 100 bucks. So let's uh, get to the VVTI solenoid. All right, the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is take off the upper timing cover. It's got four five millimeter hex head bolts, two on each side. All right, now that you got those four bolts off, the first next thing you wanna do is take off your upper timing cover. You can set that aside. And then this is your VVTI solenoid right here. It's being held in by one 10 millimeter nut. As soon as you take that off, don't forget to take off your electrical connector as well. I don't know if you can see it, but my electrical connector is full of oil. There should definitely not be oil in there. So that leads me to believe that the, the solenoid is leaking internally. But it should just come right out after you take out that 10 mil. There's a gasket in there. So yeah, there is a rubber gasket. And this, mile ha or this engine has over 220,000 miles on it, so. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, we didn't bring towels. To Break for towels. <laughs> you didn't grab towels. <laughs> okay, towels are back. So be prepared with towels because this will leak oil. It's I totally okay. forgot about that. I just got dot three all over my car. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to make sure that when you pull this old valve out, uh, the solenoid, I mean, you get this rubber seal right here because if you leave it in there, you're going to double gasket it. And uh, just like your oil filter, it's gonna shoot oil everywhere. And it's gonna at the top of your engine and it's gonna be a pain to clean. And what did we learn in sex ed, Stan? Always use protection. Don't double wrap. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. <laughs> so now, um, typically when you're having these kinds of errors, the P1349, there's also a little uh, oil filter inside of here. Once you take this union bolt out, it's like it's huge. It's like a 24 or 25 if I remember correctly. You take it out and the bolt's about this long. And inside of here, there's a little plastic um, plastic housing with a metal filter. It's kind of, it's really fine like a coffee filter. And the oil actually goes through this filter before it comes up into the solenoid. So if that filter is clogged up, you can take it out. Literally just take this bolt off and it will le leak oil. So put some towels down here, take this bolt off and uh, grab a pair of needle nose pliers and reach into here and you can pull out the little filter. It's about this big. S take it out and spray it out with some brake cleaner. If you can see through it, it's good. If you break it, you can get a new one from Toyota. They're like six bucks and they have them in stock at the local dealer. Um, my filter's clean. I've already cleaned it out and I'm still having these kinds of error codes. So I ordered myself a new solenoid because uh, like we saw, let me see if I can show you guys on the camera. Uh, you won't be able to see it, but there is, th this thing is full of oil. So the oil is actually leaking internally and coming up into the connector. So this thing's garbage. So fixing this error code is literally as simple as taking off those five bolts and putting a new one of these solenoids in. The only thing you need to remember is there's a rubber seal in here. So get some oil on your finger and lube up this rubber seal just so it does make a nice connection contact there. Slides right in. And there you go. You can put your 10 millimeter bolt back in here. Doesn't need to be too tight. I'm not gonna bother pulling the torque wrench out. Tick. Um, my 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 elbow would say that's about 17 foot in, foot pounds of uh, torque on that one. And uh, what I'm gonna do is because this thing is full of oil, maybe that connection there was shorting out. So I'm gonna grab the air compressor and blow this connector out, just so I'm sure it's not gonna be shorting out this new sensor. And maybe that was the issue. But uh, once I'm gonna do that. Put the cover back on your full bolt four bolts um, also don't really need to be tight all they're doing is covering up so nothing gets caught in these belts and uh, we're going to go inside clear the code and go for a test drive all right i've cleared the codes and uh, the light is not back on yet i won't really know until i give it about a good 30 minute uh, 30 mile test drive so we should have fixed the problem unless we got a defective solenoid from the uh, ebay listing then we'll know but this is how you fix your problem See?